Well, hey, everybody. Jeff Williams here. With us, Jeff Williams. That car. Yeah, I know what we're doing today. Hold on, let me turn this off so I don't blind you. Whew. Well, I'll tell you what, look at that. See that? I've been opening that hole up. Man, that's hard going. You ever try to lay down and dig? Woo wee, I might have to take this off anyway. Anyway, so a lot of you guys wrote in and you said, Jeff, we want to know what it's like to mine down there all day. Well, I know I did a video about that already, but I'll do it again. And I had some other questions too, and I figured I'd answer your questions down here. It'd be a lot easier in case other people had the same question. I could just say it right now, and then you guys can get an idea of what's going on. Woo wee But before we do that, I got a whole bunch of patrons I gotta say a big cowboy howdy to, because you know tomorrow's that drawing, and I wanna let everybody know that they're on the list for that drawing for that Garrett AT Gold. All right, so the first one we got, Dan Ballard, Curtis Corky, Hardy, I thought that was my middle name, Corky. Ray Billiard, gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Ray. Steve Ramsey. Ramsey's the second, mm, yes. Jim Smith, out of Jim. Curtis Myers, Robert Triggs, Daniel Bradbury, is that like the Bradbury Bunny? No, that's Cadbury Bunny. Adam Daly, from The Daily Show. Scott R. Scott R. Yunny, gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Scott. Sean and Deborah Del Cambre. Jim Yanni, how are you guys related? Jake Carlton, Ronald Tolvatar. Ronald Tolvatar, hmm. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Ronald. And Michael Brick, she's a brick house. Anyway, I want to give all of our new patrons a great big cowboy howdy. Ready? Here it goes. Yeehaw! <laughs> Ooh, thank you so much for your support and keeping the dream alive. I couldn't do it without you. So, what are we doing today? I've got to put in some timber in here. I got a collar brace I got to put in and I got to put some lagging in because you never work under unsupported ground. Remember that. Take a look at this. Come here, take a look at this. All right, so here's my zone right here. See that? That's a nice looking zone right there. It's got a lot of crystal formations in it too. And then I got some nice conglomerate down here. It's real soft. Now come here, take a look at this. All right, look at this right here. Get my finger out of the way. See that? That's that nice soft conglomerate right there. See that? I can dig it with my finger. That is where all the gold is hiding. See that? That's just nothing but soft conglomerate sand gravel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now some of the questions I got. Jeff, what's the best pick to use for metal detecting and hard rock money? Well, I've got a couple of them, and I want you all to look these up, okay? The first one is called an Apex Pick. And if you're gonna be metal detecting full time, I recommend getting one of those. It's got some neodymium magnets on it. It's lightweight handle. Uh, comes in all different lengths, up to 36 inch. Ooh, and it'll cut through the hardest ground. Apex picks. Now they have what's called a, a Geopaleo pick from Home Depot. It's a S-Wing pick. It's a very good pick, but it's kind of heavy. I don't like lugging that thing around all day. And S-Wing makes a whole bunch of other picks too. Uh, we actually got one down here. It's a hard rock pick. Now there's another one called a Hermit pick. Bunks, Arizona, I'll leave a link down below, makes them. They're fantastic for metal detectors, especially out in the great southwest. And yeah, they come with neodymium magnets as well. And they're great for getting those targets. It's got a scoop on it too, so you can get the dirt out faster. But I'll leave a link down below. Okay, now I'm going to start by putting in a uh, collar brace, some post, cap, lagging. You know how it goes. Come on, how many times have we done this together? And I'm going to shore all this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and dig out a, a nice chunky amount because it's it's getting really good right about now. That means more chunky gold for the giveaways. Woohoo! All right, let me get started on this. I don't want it to fall off on my head. Okay, now, this is what it takes to go five feet. That's a lot of lumber, look at that. It's all been pre-cut, too, and pre-measured. And that, ah, is a lot of work. Uh, but it's worth it. Thank you. 
I left a whole bunch of rocks down here, as you notice. See this? I got a whole pile of them. And broken up caliche. See this? Now, it's not because I'm lazy. It's just that I'm going to be using this, what's called gobbing. Now, there's different styles of gobbing and backfilling, but... So what I'm going to do is... I know. Is as I'm putting up my lagging, I'm going to start backfilling behind it. You can't have any empty spaces back there. It's got to be solid and tight. So what I do is I'll put in a couple of lagging boards, then I'll backfill, put in some more, backfill, and that way this whole thing, like you can see here, is solid. And that way if the ground moves, it's not going to have too much of an impact on your timbering, your braces down here. Because if you get too much of a gap, it can actually fracture the wood. So we're going to start packing in all this material as we put in our lagging. You want to lose weight? Be a gold miner. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big monker. That's a big monker. I can get him up in there too. Now I went ahead and got my back secured first, and then I'll do the side lagging. And the reason why is that. That material right there is really soft and it's got me nervous. And the side lagging is not that bad. And this one actually is solid. So as long as I get that, I feel a lot safer. And then I'll start throwing in the side lagging and then the collar braces. No two ways about it. Mine is hard work. Ooh, we I'll tell you what, mine is hard work. Well, I'll tell you what, at least I'm safe now. I don't got to worry about the back coming down. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's short little episode on how you drive a drift. And if you like today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And of course, leave me and Slim a comment because we like to know what you think about all this craziness down here. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams with Who? That's right. That's JeffWilliams.com. Saying you like gold mining and you want a fistful of shiny? Well, try a little drift mining, fool. But you got to get off your hiding. Take care, everybody.